what is the secret of the snake charmer's art? Does this cobra really dance to his master's tune? In this remote churchyard in West Bengal lie the graves of two strange children. Is it really true that they were brought up by wolves? And in Goa, what has preserved the body of St. Francis Xavier from decay for over 400 years? Mysteries from the files of Arthur C. Clarke, author of 2001 and inventor of the communication satellite. Now in retreat in Sri Lanka, he ponders the mysteries of this and other worlds. adopted homeland of Sri Lanka hangs like a teardrop from the southern shore of India. To travelers, that great subcontinent just across the sea from here has long been the source of extraordinary tales. Snake charmers, children brought up by wolves, and miraculous feats by holy men. And in the wake of the travelers have come scientists and skeptics attempting to find the truth behind these stories. What do they think? of mysterious India. Snake charming still fascinates and sometimes horrifies, but what's this charmer's secret? In the 19th century, Colonel Frank Wall, author of this book, The Snakes of Ceylon, was brave enough to investigate. He conducted his experiments with cobras on the veranda of his own house and his work's being continued by Romulus Whitaker. Now, snake charming has been around for a long time, and uh, the obvious thing to everyone's sort of uh, amazement is that the snake is actually dancing to music, so they think. We have uh, stories such as a uh, radio playing a certain tune and snakes coming into the house and just on their own dancing to this beautiful sound coming from the radio. So with these many beliefs wandering around India and people actually believing this thing, the snake charmer has no trouble at all in convincing his audience. I'm playing this sound and the snake is dancing to it. No modern investigator has dared to repeat Colonel Wall's dangerous experiment and confirm his findings. 30 years of handling cobras have given Romulus Whitaker the confidence to try. The purpose of this experiment is that we're going to uh, try to see if this cobra will react to sound even when its eyes are covered up. And the theory being, of course, that the cobra is reacting to movement and the snake charmer waves his flute back and forth. So we've gently covered his eyes up. Back into the basket. Just let him calm down for me. Okay, he feels very disoriented. And the only reaction we are getting is that he wants to escape. Well, no reaction to that sound. Now, the snake charmer's flute is supposed to make him dance. But he seems still more interested in finding a place to hide and wondering what this is covering his eyes. He's not spreading a hurt, nor is he reacting in any way to the flute or the pots and pans beating. And now we'll take the blindfold off, I think, and we'll see what's there. Very careful. Not only for him, but for yourself as well. And now let's see the reaction to this. Actually, it's the flute that he likes more than the music, because he'll follow that just about anywhere, including all the way around. So basically, the snake, when he's not blindfolded, is going to follow movement, 
when he is blindfolded, if you touch him, of course, he's going to react, but he hasn't heard a thing. I have a repertoire of more than a thousand miracles, but not everyone is happy with the influence this can give them over superstitious and gullible people. The weirdest parade in all India. It looks as though a host of holy men have come to town. The posters promise a feast of miracles. But appearances deceive. That's the message of this man. Premanand has dedicated his life to debunking the holy men's repertoire. They claim they can perform 1,500 miracles. Pulling a chariot with hooks in the back is miracle number 25. Dedicated to exposing godmen who cheat the poor, Premanand travels India explaining their trickery. The next item is uh, making tea on the head of a beautiful lady. This is miracle number 95. Keep it over. And the person has to be very careful that uh, doesn't uh, move the head. People think uh, fire is dangerous. Then what you have to do, you have to very carefully put it on it so that it doesn't fall down. Take it. So put the, the trick is explained. Wet dough hidden in the towel keeps the lady's head from burning. In the evening, the village show begins. Ask him not to move the fire on the body, but to keep the fire on the same place. Nervous volunteers are chosen to take part. <laughs> My ambition in life is to see at least one miracle before I die. I think my experiences show that I may not be able to do it. But if people can help me, if they think uh, they have come across any real miracle, if they will tell me where it is happening and if it is a real miracle, I'll be dying peacefully thinking that my search has ended. The well, perhaps in my attempt to deflate these mysteries, I've offended enough holy men to last a lifetime, or if some of them are right, several future lifetimes. Mm -hmm.